Hey guys, here we are in my aunt's house in, in Bangkok. So anyways, here in one of the bathrooms, you can see I'm actually interesting on the dark side. There's also one in the bathroom in our room, but yeah. There's also this one, and before I really do anything, I'm gonna just quickly point out this design from here. This fan is right back to the door where it puts stuff out in. So if you turn the fan on, and much of the air will be put in this, coming from this door, it won't actually reach that very, very well. I don't know why they did that. I don't think it's good. I should have put this fan somewhere here, but. I'm assuming much of these design flaws are because the fan just cannot be mounted anywhere else for structural reasons. By the way, there's that little fan over there where the air battery comes out. And yes, I know quiet lines, dangerous children hanging, stuff like that, but whatever. This fan comes on with a light, and there's actually a dead switch here, which indicates that this fan was originally meant to be on a separate switch, but somehow they didn't do it. Oh, I, forgot to show it. I forgot to show that well. I'm just gonna wait for it to stop and show it to you again. Wondering what the sound is. Here we go. Yeah, these electric two fans actually move we'll a fair amount of air, but the point of many pieces of real fans is actually to produce a lot of static pressure so they can be run with the doors closed easily. Yeah, it was a decent amount of time. It's not a small fan actually, it's has to be like, let's say, 12 inches. Oh, 30 cm. It's gonna go. Actually, this this switch might have been my bad. I didn't put bulbs in there or something. Yeah, I really don't like the way they the way this fan is. Actually, this fan should be somewhere here, but I don't know. Maybe it was something that maybe they could have do that for structural reasons. But anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.